this newly decommissioned firefighting gear is about to get a second life. Today there was about 50, 60 boxes, close to 200 bags of uh, everything from turnout gear, helmets, boots, that uh, we'll be resorting and packing and uh, be sending overseas. Firefighters Without Borders Canada, a non-profit organization, sources used gear throughout the country and sends it to departments across the world to better protect their communities. They've teamed up with two small men with big hearts moving to get this equipment from Manitoba. It's taken me about three days to get here now, uh, staying in hotels across the country. It's been a really rewarding experience. This is the third year in a row of donations making their way across the globe. This load will be sent to teams in the Philippines, Argentina and Paraguay. Now, while the gear has reached its end of life according to North American standards, it's still in great condition and suitable for use in different countries around the world, many who don't have the same resources. In instances, we're giving them gear where they didn't even have enough for all their members or the stuff is from the 70s or even older. It makes a difference for their personal protection gives them a lot of pride. They actually feel like a bombero or a firefighter to actually have some proper gear. There is around four to five hundred thousand dollars worth of gear in one of these containers that otherwise would have gone to waste as they've reached their 10-year mandate in Canada to recycle. A new set of this is like six thousand dollars. So when it's 10 years old, it's going to where it's going to be used. I mean, otherwise, this would be going in landfill. A rewarding experience for everyone involved. It feels amazing. I'm very, I'm honored to be a part of it. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's awesome to kind of feel like you're giving back. One of the guys from Guatemala sent us pictures in the story that they had an electrocution on a construction site and they managed to save this guy and get him down from a high floor. Once the gear is loaded onto a ship in Vancouver, it takes around six to eight weeks to reach its new home, where the equipment is expected to have up to another 10 years of use. In Vancouver, Kate Walker, City News.